Hello, uh, World Civ 107. Welcome to week 13. And, um, you know, as you can see, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the semester. Um, I just want to reiterate to many of you that um, I'm accepting all late work. When I grade uh, and, and an assignment's due, I'll give a zero if you don't have the work turned in. But as soon as you turn the work in, if you do everything that it's uh, required in the instructions, then you'll get full points. But what I want to keep, 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 keep reminding all of you is that we're getting close to the end of the semester. I can't have students giving me like 20 assignments and, and, and expecting me to grade all of them in one week. That's not going to work. Okay, so many of you now were actually behind tremendously and you have been bringing in a lot of work every week um, and that is kind of gumming up my grading time but it's it's okay it, we're doing it but but that's that's realistic so I want to make very clear if you are extremely behind and you want to catch up and you haven't been catching up you need to contact me right now um, to at least let's create a strategy okay because I can't I can't do it all in one chunk and you shouldn't be doing that and that's not even like getting a real education just just cramming 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 okay um, but we can strategize something together look this is an extreme time we're in historic times so the amount of variables of, of the kind of things that that some of you are are like what you're up against and what you're dealing with is um, you don't need to explain to me. I mean, you can if you want, but I get it. So um, I'm not upset or judging anything by anybody right now. It's just that we have to be realistic about timelines still, okay? We still have to, I still, I'm still gonna have to get my grades turned in on time. Um, and um, I just need you to communicate uh, with me so that I can help you out if you are struggling for whatever reason uh, under these circumstances and uh, uh, you're worried about the direction things are going in. Um, I want to remind you uh, um, to also, when you're, when you're looking at the grades, remember that there are some assignments that are on there that, that are like, it's like a graveyard of, of assignments from my previous classes. The only work you ever needed to do were, has been the work that's in the modules for each week. When you look at your grade, that's what you want to look at. And um, if you see that there's other assignments, you can go, wait a minute, I don't remember assignment, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's, it's because that was never assigned. So I'm sorry about some of that confusion in there. Um, if you have problems with that or you're still confused, give me a call. Uh, otherwise, um, just again, worry about the work that's, that's been in each uh, for each module. And contacting me, the quickest way to get back uh, to hear from me is still a phone call or a text or Canvas. And if you write to my email, uh, it has a chance of getting lost in there because I get so much uh, email and a lot of junk email too. Um, so that's okay, but I would rather you write to me directly in the Canvas uh, or call or text, okay? Um, that just helps make sure that I can take care of you. All right. Um, and <laughs> so looking at the information going on, we just covered uh, the role of the U.S. in Latin America. And I'm glad as I read your um, discussions that many of you were starting to become aware that this is a big thing that everybody should know. And it's a shame that it takes until getting into college to learn about it. And honestly, I think it's only college students that ever seem to learn about it, unless th you're a person whose family has been directly involved in some of these situations in which you would know about it firsthand. It, it's to me almost a conspiracy because you don't ever get this kind of analysis or discussion on any kind of mainstream uh, set of uh, articles uh, or, 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 or on, on news outlets. It's not really discussed certainly by AM radio uh, hosts or, or, or those kind of things. You will read about them and, and sometimes, like in The Economist and some of those, and you will learn about this from left wing, a lot of left wing uh, media sources like Democracy Now, um, which are reliable but are officially more 
like on the side of the left. So if you Google democracy now, you will learn about this stuff all the time. Um, they just have a, a particular type of political uh, um, perspective that you should be aware of. Al Jazeera English also covers this kind of stuff really well. In fact, Al Jazeera English really covers global politics quite well. Even I like the way they cover U.S. politics quite well. <laughs> so I, I don't know. You should take, check it out. And Democracy Now! does a better job of that, too. Um, Al Jazeera English really isn't that biased on, on, on a lot of the topics, except they're very pro-Palestinian as opposed to pro-Israel for uh, reasons. But the majority uh, of their audience and Al Jazeera comes from an Arab country, so you can kind of understand that. Um, but anyways... It's good to explore different news agencies, kind of understand where they have their bias, but if they have quality information, you can come to your own conclusion, right? Um, and the biggest criticism I have of CNN and SNBC and Fox News is not that one side leans liberal and the other one conservative, but they're almost predictable in what they're going to say about particular things, which makes, means you're not news because you're not showing any nuance for the most part. And uh, uh, it's, it's really sensationalist, and it's, they're not really covering a lot of information, which would be helpful. That's my opinion. Actually, I think it's a fact. <laughs> so, okay. Now, we're, gonna, we're looking at post-colonial Africa uh, this week. Also really important, right? And uh, um, so, uh, in this case, I also showed, um, at the end, some of the influence of China on Africa. To not understand that China is making ha having a huge role in post-colonial Africa right now is to really be completely out of the loop about a huge set uh, event that's been taking place uh, for quite some time now. And so um, I, I think it's good to be on board with that. And since China is in the news a lot, uh, um, it's good to have an accurate understanding of China's role in the world, uh, right? And I talked about Singapore and Lee Kuan Yew. Well, um, I, there's an article I have, uh, or, or a video clip I also touch on with Singapore and Rwanda. And again, what I kind of just really want you all to see is the interconnected connectiveness of this information that you're learning. That why having an understanding of world civilization and politics is the only way to really understand what's going on. And there's something that you, I want to remind all of you, that Americans are some of the most uninformed people on the, the, these set of topics, while at the same time coming from one of the world's most wealthy nations and a nation and a, and a, and a government uh, from from a, a country that is involved in almost every part of the world. That should be really alarming to us, and we have the freedom to fix that, at least for ourselves. I don't have the time and I'm not going to try to explain why it is that structurally, why it is that when we turn on our, our, our news that the quality is so horrible and why you don't get any understanding of the world by watching any of these stations. Um, why you won't get it from listening to AM radio or, listen, or watching Ben Shapiro on uh, a, a vlog, okay? Um, um, why, why, why Rachel Maddow is not going to help you. All of these characters, from the liberal side and you know, democratic leaning to the Republican leaning and all that stuff. So that's a question. But here, what I'm hoping is, is by the time we're done with this class and we're experiencing and going through this terrible pandemic together, that we will realize in this time that we've been quarantined that understanding the world really matters, holding politicians accountable that make decisions for our lives matter and that it's 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 pretty just kick ass to actually be able to have solid knowledge about what's going on and it's not always easy to know which is the most credible it's not always easy to know if you should trust a certain type of political inclination that's coming out of a certain source but you know what over time, you can work with that. Just as the body, if you work out, it, it, it beefs up and you become healthier and stronger, so with the mind and understanding. By the way, you can see what I've been neglecting in terms of my fixing my life. <laughs>
So, all right. Um, I hope you're all being safe and healthy. I hope you're all able to deal with this really uh, uh, critical time. And make sure you contact me if you need anything.